Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Parkland victims' family sick after getting behind-the-scenes look at DC March. According to South Florida's Sun Sentinel, the brother of one of the Parkland shooting victims, Hunter Pollock, claimed that he wasn't allowed by event organizers to participate in the March for Our Lives and deliver a short speech about his slain sister, Meadow Pollock. In a Facebook Live video posted the morning of the event from a hotel in Washington, D.C., Father Andrew Pollock bluntly stated, My son got denied to speak at the march, so I'm going to a lacrosse game. I guess he's got a different agenda than their agenda. They don't really care about the victims' families, Hunter added. I don't know what this is about but it's definitely not about mourning individuals. Some of the survivor students of the Parkland, Florida, school massacre, with tremendous financial and logistical assistance from several liberal anti-gun organizations, held the March for Our Lives event on Saturday in Washington, D.C., and other major cities. Hundreds of thousands of people turned out for what was in reality a protest demanding gun control, but had been billed as an opportunity for the voices of survivors and the families of the victims to be heard. Except it appears that not all of the victims' families were extended that opportunity to be heard by the crowd. According to WPLG, the brother told them, I was going to give a speech about Meadow and how devastated I am and how we need to make change, but they won't allow me to put my voice out. The change that Hunter wanted to talk about was an increased focus on school safety measures, not blanket gun control measures like bans on so-called assault weapons that event organizers seemed focused on. But Ryan Deitch, one of the student organizers of the event, disputed Pollock's claim that he wasn't allowed to speak and asserted that the brother had been invited but he never showed up for early morning preparations on Saturday. We openly invited a lot of people, and some people just turned it down, Deitch said. When asked if Pollock's different views on gun control played a role in his not being there to speak, Deitch replied that it was not political whatsoever, he just wasn't there. Deitch also denied the claim that Pollock was disallowed to speak when asked by the Sun Sentinel, saying, as far as I know, he was on the list of guest speakers. Conservative documentary filmmaker Dennis Michael Lynch, who has been assisting the Pollock family in their dealings with the media, claimed on his website DML that student organizer Deitch had lied about Pollock being invited and included as a speaker but hadn't showed up. He further stated that Pollock was informed late Friday night that he would not be included in the show as a speaker, and that when Pollock and his mother attempted to go the event regardless on Saturday morning, they were ignored by event organizers and invited celebrities. One thing that has emerged as clear as can be from this whole event is that there was a singular purpose behind the March for Our Lives, an effort to disarm American citizens, and voices speaking to the contrary would not be granted an opportunity to share their platform and be heard. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.